Our life depends on a thread. And that's the way that the Creator is holding us on. And we think, oh, I'm almost falling. I'm barely making it. I'm almost not surviving. I'm falling. You're not. You're in the hands of the Creator. And His unbelievable love, His unconditional love, His endless love is hovering above you and running the physical systems of your body and the emotional systems of your spirit and the spiritual systems of your soul and bringing deep understandings to your mind and giving you another chizuk and another spark of faith of emunah into your heart and giving you more energy and charging your battery for another hour, for another circle, for another day, for another month, for another weekend. And every moment He's coming. Chadashot libkarim rabai emunatecha. Every morning He's renewing our spirit with more faith, with a little bit more understanding, straightening our understanding to, 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 a, to a, a, a further distance and aiming our heart to a higher purpose in life. Think about that. Think about how precious you are in the eyes of the Creator. When you disrespect yourself, when you are not appreciating who you really are, from a spiritual aspect, from the important side of your soul, for how important you are in the eyes of Hashem, that His eyes are the eyes that can see and recognize the truth. When you're denying His truth, when you're contradicting His love to you, on you, by that you are shutting off the light of Hashem. You're blocking the light of Hashem. Because the light of Hashem is the light that is treasured inside our bodies. It's the light of our souls. The light of the righteous ones that illuminated the world with their faith, with their knowledge, with their righteousness. What was that light all about? It's the simple light of faith that came out of people that did not surrender that were strong enough to reveal their inner holy desires to serve the Creator and to follow Him like lions and to keep His Torah and His mitzvot, the obligations and went all the way with that. And what are you doing? You're doing the best you can. You are trying. It's a fact that you are sitting right now and listening to words of Torah Words of emunah, of faith, that you are a truth seeker. What are you seeking now, if not the truth? If not another battery to charge yourself, to find a way how to serve stronger, with more meaning, with more intention, or else what are you doing? You are a truth seeker. You are a holy soul. And you are trapped in a big challenge, in a very overwhelming exp life experience. But you are not surrendering. And because of that, the light of your soul is shining. I remember myself when I started doing tshuva more than 20 years ago, I would just go in the street before I even knew what Shabbat is all about, before I even knew what tzitzit is all about, before I, like in my baby steps, early beginning of my tshuva, people would call me, Rabbi, Rabbi, I want to ask you a question. Every person with a kippah in this generation is a Rabbi. <laughs> rabbi, am I wrong? Rabbi, am I wrong? Rabbi, please, Rabbi, tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> How many times have you been called rabbi? Every person is a rabbi. Why everyone are rabbis? Because the world is so dark. Not because that we are so shiny and so illuminating. We are small. We are tiny. Yeah. But in this darkness, a small candle can be so useful and so great. Because people are so lost. And even the small amounts of knowledge and information that you hold inside of yourself, your life experience with all the up and downs and thousands of failures and your lack of understandings and the whole huge, huge holes in, 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 in wisdom that you hold. With all of that, you can be a huge guide for thousands of people to wake up. Você está assistindo Emoná Português. Seu apoio nos ajuda imensamente. Por favor. Inscreva-se, curta e deixe-nos um comentário com qualquer dúvida que você tenha. O melhor de tudo é simplesmente compartilhar este vídeo. 
ajudando essas mensagens de fé a chegarem a todas as pessoas. Não importa a sua origem. Fique bem e shalom.